When God created the world, he made the first man and woman. He put the man and woman in a beautiful garden, and he blessed them. The man and woman had a right and a good relationship with God. They were not separated from him. God gave them one command, that they should not eat of the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. And for a while, the man and woman were obedient. But one day, they ate that fruit. And because of their disobedience, they were then separated from God. And then they had children, and their children had children, and their children had children. And pretty soon, there were a lot of people on the earth. And when God looked down on the earth and he saw all of the evil in the hearts of men, he decided to destroy the whole earth with a flood. But there was one man named Noah. Noah had a right and a good relationship with God. So God decided that he would save Noah and his family. He told Noah to build a boat so that he and his family would be safe from destruction. Noah obeyed God. And then God sent the flood and destroyed everything. And Noah and his family were on the boat for several days. And when they saw dry land appear, they got off the boat to start their lives over again. And at that time, God made a promise to Noah and to all peoples after Noah that he would never destroy the earth with the flood again. And the sign of his promise was a rainbow. Many years later, there was another man named Abraham Abraham and his wife were very old, and they had no kids. But God told Abraham that he would have as many children as there are stars in the sky. Abraham believed God. So, God counted Abraham as having a right and a good relationship with him because of his belief. And God kept his promise to Abraham, giving him many, many, many children. But the people continued to be far from God. They continued to do wrong things. So God gave a message of hope to a man named Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet. God told Isaiah that he would send a promised Savior who would die for the wrongs of all peoples on earth. The promised Savior would come to earth by a woman who had never been with a man. He would be absolutely perfect. There would be no wrong in him. The promised Savior would die, but then he would come back to life again. The promised Savior was called a light to all peoples, to all nations. And everything happened just the way God said it would. Jesus, the promised Savior, came to the world. He was born by a woman who had never been with a man. God put a star in the sky to lead men to the place of his birth. Jesus was perfect. There was no wrong in him. He performed many miracles. He gave sight to those who could not see. He fed thousands of people with just a little bit of food. He raised people from the dead. And many people followed him. Jesus would talk about the kingdom of God. He said, I am the light of the world. and Whoever follows me will never be in darkness. Jesus also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can get to the Father except through me. Whilst many people believed in him, some didn't. In fact, they were angry with Jesus because he said that he and God were the same. So they made a plan to kill him. They hung Jesus on two pieces of wood in the shape of a cross, and they put nails in his hands and his feet, and Jesus died. But on the third day after Jesus' death, he rose from the grave. After he came back to life, he went and he told his followers that they should go and tell others what has happened, that through him all peoples can have a restored relationship with God, that if people would just put their faith in him alone, that he would forgive their wrongs. They would know that after they died, then they would be in heaven with God. So his followers went out and they told others, On your hand, you have a Mahindi design. This Mahindi design has several small things in it that will help you remember the story I just told you. The first thing is the fruit. At the bottom of the hand, there's a shape of a fruit. This fruit is to help you to remember the first part of the story, when the first man and woman ate the fruit that God told them not to. The next part in the drawing is a rainbow. 
The rainbow represents promise. God made three promises in this story. The first promise was to Noah. He promised all people that he would never destroy the earth with a flood again. The next promise that God made was to Abraham, and he promised Abraham many children. And the third promise is a promise to all people that there would be a Savior who would come and die for all of our wrongs so that we could have a right and a restored relationship with God. When Jesus was born, God put a star in the sky to lead men to the place of his birth. There's a star in the thumb of the drawing to help you remember that part. The cross on the, in the middle finger is a reminder of the death of Jesus. And the flower in the last finger represents life because on the third day after Jesus' death, he came back to life.